How's it going everyone? Octopus here and welcome back. Huge update, huge things happening, lots to talk about, so let's go straight into this guys. First off, we're going to talk about Return of the Cheaper Avatar Boards. If you just started an account and you haven't bought these Avatar Boards yet, buy them now before this goes away. Because this saves you a ton of jewels and these things are needed. They are needed so much. They aren't needed right away, but once you want a full Keyblade that has all 6 stars, you're going to have to use these boards and you need the cost that's in these boards to get max cost. So if you haven't bought it, buy it guys. This is a huge discount. This is great for new players. This is because multiplayer is coming out, problem mode's coming out. And like I told you guys, they're always trying to help out new players. And in the end, it usually helps out old players as well. So that's why I say be patient with everything. Don't spend your jewels right away because the game will never let you fall behind. But this is great. Let's carry on. Maintenance. Whoop, wrong tab. Maintenance. We got maintenance coming up guys. And this is most likely proud mode slash multiplayer. This is probably going to have a whole bunch of things in it too, but it is going to happen on January 16th, which, what are we, we're on the 12th right now, so Monday. This is going to be Monday, Monday afternoon, no, Monday morning, Monday morning, okay. Well, afternoon for me, morning for some other people. So, yeah, there's an update, it's four hours, four hour update, and what I'm about to show you guys, you'll understand what's going on. This is cool, this is exciting, I'm so ready for new stuff because everything like I told you has become repetitive, especially when you hit endgame. It's very same thing over and over and over, so I'm looking forward to what's coming up for this update. Or this maintenance. So next part we have story quests. Story quests, we have 15 new quests, which is a little different because we usually get 25. But this time we have 15, a mysterious girl named Skuld. Is that your same name? Skuld? Skuld? But anyways, appears before you, who is a new Keyblade wielder and what could be her purpose? I said that so backwards, but you guys understood. Race closer to the heart of the story together with Skuld in the exciting new story update. I feel like I'm butchering that name. I'm butchering that name. It's all right. So you can also obtain an or Ori Calcum. Guys, I did it. Ori Calcum. Ori Calcum by completing the new story quest to strengthen your Keyblade. Our story will continue, so stay tuned. Okay, so just the basic new story quests are out. You get another Ori Calcum, which is great, which also hints that Keyblades are coming out because we already have all the Ori Calcum we need. So that's great to see. That means future updates, future stuff going on. We all know that already. So the story update. Actually, let me touch up on story update before we go to that. Story update. I was reading on Discord. People are saying the ones that already passed it. Every five quests is going to get you 250 jewels. So if you complete all new 15 quests, you're going to get a total of 750 jewels. So that goes with the next part. All right. So the next part is Illustrated Kari is back, guys. She's back to take all your jewels. You thought you were safe, you're not. 10 Mercy Pole is back. Okay, there's many theories around this. I have my own. I think 10 Mercy Poles are back because of this banner only. I don't think it's going to be a feature thing. I don't think it's going to be because it's an EMC, because it's a Sashu High Score Challenge, because we had the EMCs before. I know it was during Boxing Week and everything, but... I feel like they use Boxing Week as an excuse for saying, hey, five Mercy Poles. It was just to make people spend their money. But I believe five Mercy Poles are here to stay. I just think they're doing it for this banner because it would cause a conflict and uproar with other players who spent 30000 just recently. They would literally make a big deal about it saying, no, you guys can't do that. We just spent 30000 on this. This is ridiculous. But then it would also not make sense because the game has to advance and it has to become easier the more the power spike goes up. Also, new players, you know what I mean? But this could also be that Cena knows that everybody needs an illustrated car, and if you don't have one yet, they know you're going to dish out the money for it or spend all your jewels. And then you're out of jewels and new stuff come out, and you're going to have to spend money for that. I got a solution, guys. Forget about all these theories. Forget about why there, there's a 10 pole. Illustrated Kari is not needed. <laughs> Sounds ridiculous, right? No. Okay. Many of us already have Illustrated Kari because we saved up, we bought, we paid, whatever. We all got Illustrated Kari one way or another, luck. But she is not the only one of her kind to buff three. <clears throat> she may be the most powerful one because she heals and she buffs by three. I'm talking about most powerful in North America and to come very recently, very soon. But she's not the only one. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about, it's not in the actual notices or anything, the notices end there. This is the next part. Alright guys, 
are you ready for this? I'm ready for this. Let's put this full screen. Well, not really, you can see how I set it up, but here we go. This is multiplayer, guys. Now, there's some medals in here that we don't have yet, so they kind of spoil some stuff for us. But regardless, it's a pretty cool trailer. I can't read any of it, but I'm gonna guess what's going on. I'm just gonna sit here and watch it with you guys, okay? Sit back and enjoy, because this is multiplayer. So excited! Look at that. Look at that. Everyone's together. It's real time. Adventure with your friends. Oh my god. See, there we go. There's some spoilers there. There's spoilers, guys. There's medals they shouldn't be showing if you don't look at JP content. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited for this, guys. You don't understand. I'm so excited. <laughs> Take down the Cerberus. Look at that. Look how much HP that guy has. It's literally like a boss raid battle. It kind of makes it look like a raid system. You know, you get your party together. You all have commands. You all push ready. Everyone goes to the battle, and then you're all attacking at once. It, it, it reminds me of MMO style, which I hope it is kind of like that. I hope it's not full turn base. It looks like everyone's doing their own thing. They don't have to wait for each other. So it's not like, okay, player one, do this. Player two, do this. It's everyone's just unleashing their stuff. And I guess he attacks everyone individually, not everyone as a group. From what I saw there, guys. There's so much to talk about that, but I kind of want to wait till it's actually released and I want to go through more in depth with it but just seeing that trailer and seeing stuff like here you go um, let's kind of rewind and go into this so it looks like it's a banner it costs one AP so it's a quest I guess when you click on this quest it puts you into a lobby you pick your keyblade what keyblade you want to use so you guys know what speed you're gonna go into it and then here you go you have the person hosting it and then everyone comes in. Oops, let me do that again. I don't know if you get to pick or choose who you're gonna play with, but looking here, it could be just a queuing system. Like you queue up and then people join your room or you can invite people maybe. So right down here, you guys can see, I'm looking on the one monitor, but I have this monitor, but you guys can see right here. This could be type in a friend's name and then add them. Type in a friend's name and then add them or just player ID or just the name of anyone. I don't know if it's going to be in the same uni or not. I don't know much anyways, but I'm just going by with the trailer. So it looks like you can invite people or there might be a queuing up system. Next, you guys can see here, you guys enter kind of like the lobby area, I guess, and you're waiting around. And I guess when they pull the tab here, this is like, let's pause it on the part we can see. So these are, looks like emotes where you can say, yay, hi, music, dance, or there's the bubble ones here where probably like ready, or uh, be right back or something like that. I don't know guys, I don't know, I'm just guessing here, but this could be all that commands to say, okay, I'm ready to go in. And then everyone, once they push ready, they all go in, which indicates in the next scene, or it could just be a little chat room. I could be totally wrong. The other one we just showed where it says, where it shows all the people lined up, that could be the ready area. As you guys can see in this part here, while they're in battle, everybody's just doing their own thing and there's different enemies. So it's not like you have to sit there and wait for someone like I was saying. And then like in the end here, somewhere in the end, there's people getting hit. You see this person taken out, but if you play it, there's still people going on. So it looks like if even if you're taken out, it doesn't end there. So it's like a raid boss, guys. If you ever played MMOs like World of Warcraft, Terra, anything like that, when you're facing bosses, you can go out, but your friends keep going until the enemy's down. So it's kind of like a raid boss, which means it's gonna have a lot of HP and everyone has to have a certain amount of power to actually take that down. There's so many theories I'm going through right now. I haven't looked at any spoilers. I haven't looked at anyone else's chats. This is just me going by what I saw in this trailer. Um, so I'm excited, guys. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are excited. The game's changing and it looks good. Regardless of whatever is going on with these EMCs and these tent poles, we just got to plan around it, plan around the guys. We dealt with it before. We can deal with it again. I don't think it's going to be permanent, but who cares right now? There's so much going on. We'll deal with everything as it goes. I'm excited for this Monday coming up. Maintenance, better be proud mode, better be multiplayer coming very soon. I'm so ready for everything, guys. 
So hopefully I didn't cover over too much right now. This is what I've been waiting for, guys, and I can't wait to play this. Um, once I start streaming, hopefully I can make like little party rooms with you guys and enter raid bosses and stuff like that. There's just a bunch of things running through my mind. <sighs> Anyways, guys, I hope you're as excited as I am. There's so much good things to look forward to, and I hope you guys can see that because I am so ready. As always, thanks for watching. Keep on smiling, and the world will smile back with you guys because I know I am. And I'll see you guys in the next one.